Good day. I am Avinash. And as I told you, we have a series of videos wherein you can get to know how to improve your built environment, especially of your house. So what we need to do in the initial stage is to get to know our own house, how it is, and we have to put the layout of our house on paper or prepare your own house plan. So how do we go about? You require a paper and a pencil, something to measure and maybe some patience where you can get to know things. You are the best person to know your house thoroughly. So from that point of view, we will start. <coughs> Consider your house entrance. Suppose your entrance is somewhere here. Your entrance is somewhere here. So this is the door when you try and go inside. You have a wall on this side, left hand side, and maybe the wall is to the horizontal wall which is coming right in front of you. So maybe we draw a line from there and go on measuring the tiles. Once you go on measuring those tiles, you realize that there may be say 20 tiles from this end to the other end. There may be 20 tiles from one end to the other end. So if one tile is of one feet or 30 centimeters, then you may have this total distance as say maybe 6 meters or 20 feet. So you can mark that with a small scale. If you have the uh, square line scale book, then you can mark that easily with a scale. Okay. Now go horizontally again. Maybe after 10 tiles or up 10 feet, you would get another wall, which will be the end of your living hall. We go down further. Okay. Then maybe at about 10 feet, you get the opening, some opening which is there. And if you go down still further, you have the other wall, the end of this wall, which is something like this. So this turns out to be your living room. Okay, this is your living room. If you go further on this side, about 10 feet, okay, and go down about 8 feet, then <coughs> To the side then this may be your kitchen then you go down further this may be your toilet block go down further this may be your bed so this is your kitchen this is your toilet and this is your bedroom Okay, there may be a balcony or an entrance lounge or a veranda, something like this, you know, over here. Okay, now <coughs> we have made a line plan of our house. What we need to know is the center of your house. So what we do is get on to one corner of your plan. The second corner, which if you are drawn it in a You go to one corner of your house, of your plan, and the second corner diagonally opposite and draw a line. Similarly, from the living room till the bedroom corner, you draw another line. 
okay you get the center of your house now over there what you have to do is you have to stand with a compass you have to stand with a compass so normally nowadays compasses are there in your mobile phone so we'll use our own compass in the mobile phone <coughs> okay just one sec hmm? so maybe <coughs> this is my compass you may just wave in the eight manner so that it adjusts because that's a normal tendency once your compass is adjusted hold it at this point stand it over stand in over there and hold it at this point wherever the compass is pointing towards north just move around or turn around so maybe you turn around and maybe in this case it is pointing north in this direction okay so i'm standing here and i'm finding that the north is being pointed in this direction <coughs> okay so i'm standing here and i find that the north is in po is pointing in this direction so what i'll do is i put the compass in over here and i'm finding that the north is pointing in this direction so what i'll do is i'll mark points i'll mark the points which are there so i'll mark this north direction which is like this okay extend it further and mark a point on my paper from there i draw a line and if i am standing in over there just go ahead in the room and mark the point north in your hall okay so this is the north the moment north is in this direction as you have learned in school east would be in this direction so over here we have east similarly on this direction we have south in this direction we have west so these four cardinal directions have been marked on the plan and in your house also wherever the line extends at 90 degrees from north you mark the east direction south direction west direction and north direction so simultaneously we are doing two things one we are marking the thing on plan and the same we are marking on in our house itself okay now we go in for sub cardinal direction sub cardinal directions are nothing but the corners which are there so this is the central point and as our is our north line is parallel to one of the walls so naturally our and the corner is crossing in over here so if you take this as 45 degrees and this as 45 degrees you'll be finding that <coughs> this corner which comes in is the northeast corner then this is the southeast corner this is the southwest corner and this is the northwest corner so now we have established eight directions four cardinal and four sub cardinal north south east west the cardinal northeast southeast southwest and northwest the sub cardinal directions now once these are established what we have to do is just extend those points as we have marked the point for east just extend them and <coughs> maybe we would get say maybe this extended point is somewhere here now take half the distance of this it will come somewhere here take half of this take half of this on similar line take the central portion from this end to this end 
again central portion from this end to this end central portion from this end to this end okay on similar lines we do it here We do it in this particular fashion. Now, <clears throat> once we have done this, then we just draw parallel lines or project those lines down to the other side. We are trying to make a grid. This is already there. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Similarly, on the side, we draw the grid. Okay, draw it faster. Okay, now our <coughs> grid is drawn. What now we have to do is <coughs> mark the corners. For ease, what why what we will try and do is <coughs> the northeast is these four square blocks. So I'll hatch them. Okay. I'll hatch it with blue. Southeast is this four blocks. So I'll hatch it with say purple. Okay, southwest is this four box, so I'll hatch it with say pink. Please remember these colors. Okay, and northwest, I may hatch it with say white or gray. Okay. So now what I have established is the four corners of my house, which are the sub cardinal directions. Is that clear? The four corners of the house, which is, which are the sub cardinal directions. Now these sub cardinal directions have been identified and our plan is ready. <clears throat> so we have completed the plan and this plan is ready and it's in our hand. And we know each and every corner of our room. And if you take these squares, see, you know this distance automatically because see, this is from here, you can measure it, measure out that distance and maybe with a small tape, just mark out these squares on ground. You can get a carpenter's tape and mark these things on ground. Now, once these are marked in, these are the corners which have been assigned the northeast, southeast, northwest and southwest directions. Now, one by one, we will see the importance of each and every direction. So today's purpose was to know how to draw a plan of your existing house. I think so you might have got it very easily. And as an exercise, you can draw the complete plan of your house with taking measurements or just taking steps or measuring the tiles and then drawing the plan maybe on a square line book or on a plain sheet of paper and go on assigning the directions with the help of compass. So that was in this particular session. In the next session, we'll study something about each and every direction. So today's takeaway, making a plan of your house, setting up the directions on the plan, marking the directions in your rooms, which are there and make, keeping the plan ready for getting to know what things are there. Okay. Thank you very much for your time.